All right, so I've had a couple days to play with this after unboxing it, and it is ridiculously cool. Um, at face value, if it was literally just these 16 buttons with bank selectors and the buttons on the side that you can macro to whatever, that would be good enough for me. But another, the main feature, honestly, of this thing is that as you turn it, you can actually macro different effects to it. So it's basically the same as, um, you know, like a pot on your controller. There's three buttons on either side um, that kind of, you can't really see because they're just kind of in there, like an alien coming out of your chest. They're just sort of right there. I have a reverb. Um, I have erosion. There's a, like a, low pass filter on the whole master chain and then delays over here. Yeah, can't believe I actually got that right. But another thing is you can, if, if, they're, if the effects are next to each other, you can kind of use them at the same time. So a low pass and erosion at the same time and then de delay in the low pass. So obviously, it's limitless what you can do with everything. The buttons on the side are really convenient for turning off and on those effects in case you wanna rock out and hold it, but you don't want to go to the low pass or something like that, so. Thanks for joining me on this quick look at the MIDI Fighter 3D by DJ Tech Tools. There is a link for the product in the description below. Check them out, they're a great company. They make tons of great videos as well. If you like this video, please thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down. Leave a comment as to why you didn't like it so we can make better stuff for you guys. Subscribe, all that sort of thing. Until then, shake it easy. <laughs>